April 18th Morning Devotional For this life and the life to come. The entrance of thy words giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. Psalm chapter 119 verse 130 For the mind and the soul, as well as for the body, it is God's law that strength is acquired by effort. It is exercise that develops. In harmony with this law, God has provided in his word the means for mental and spiritual development. The Bible contains all the principles that men need to understand in order to be fitted either for this life or for the life to come. And these principles may be understood by all. And even greater is the power of the Bible in the development of the spiritual nature. Man, created for fellowship with God, can only in such fellowship find his real life and development. Created to find in God his highest joy, he can find in nothing else that which can quiet the cravings of the heart, can satisfy the hunger and thirst of the soul. He who with sincere and teachable spirit studies God's word, seeking to comprehend its truths, will be brought in touch with its author, and, except by his own choice, there is no limit to the possibilities of his development. In its wide range of style and subjects the Bible has something to interest every mind and appeal to every heart. In its pages are found history the most ancient, biography the truest to life, principles of government for the control of the state, for the regulation of the household, principles that human wisdom has never equaled. It contains philosophy the most profound, poetry the sweetest and the most sublime, the most impassioned and the most pathetic. Immeasurably superior in value to the productions of any human author are the Bible writings, even when thus considered, but of infinitely wider scope, of infinitely greater value, are they when viewed in their relation to the grand central thought. Viewed in the light of this thought, every topic has a new significance. In the most simply stated truths are involved principles that are as high as heaven and that compass eternity. The central theme of the Bible, the theme about which every other in the whole book clusters, is the redemption plan, the restoration in the human soul of the image of God. From the first intimation of hope in the sentence pronounced in Eden to that last glorious promise of the revelation, they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads, Revelation chapter 22 verse 4, the burden of every book in every passage of the Bible is the unfolding of this wondrous theme, man's uplifting, the power of God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 He who grasps this thought has before him an infinite field for study. He has the key that will unlock to him the whole treasure house of God's word.